Create something every day. That's what I do. Sometimes it's just a tiny something, spending a little time coloring or drawing. Other days I will take hours in my craft room making cards, and then I look up at the clock and I find I've stayed up well past bedtime. If I have one of those checklist days without a chance to get creative, I can become a real grumpy Gus. <laughs> when I was a little girl growing up in Maryland, I loved drawing and coloring. Whether it was little cartoon figures that I sketched, or a Mother's Day card that I made, or simply getting all the shading right in my coloring book, I was always creating something. Someday, I hoped I would be an art teacher. I got my art degree in college and have spent my career as an illustrator and graphic designer doing marketing for nonprofits primarily. But what really got me excited has been paper crafting and everything that goes along with it. I discovered stamping, which led to coloring, and oh man, I feel like that little girl with her coloring books all over again, but this time I have grown up tools. <laughs> And a few years ago, I discovered that creating something every day just makes my heart happy. I got into teaching from a really unique vantage point, and that is all of these boxes that come to my house day after day. I'm the founder of Operation Write Home, an organization that sends blank handmade cards to deployed service members so that they can keep in touch with their families at home. There is so much creativity filling every one of these boxes, and I have grown so much from absorbing it. But I don't want to keep it all to myself. I want to share. So I've been producing weekly webcasts and lots of tutorial videos and having a fabulous time watching other people grow from what I share. I feel like I'm finally in the zone. I am right where God made me to be doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I know he gave me the talent to create, but he also gave me the passion to share it, and I feel privileged to be able to do that. <laughs>